Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Um, here from uh, Amish country in Homestead, Florida. I'm here to answer your questions, to talk about uh, whatever you guys want to talk about. It is a, another week. We're here um, in, uh, I don't know, April. I, I don't know, just been, uh, it was a, a weekend where I didn't have a whole lot to do, so that was good. I played some games um, and worked on the history of the Dice Tower. That will be coming in a week or so. So if you have any questions, I'll be taking questions on both the uh, YouTube chat and on the Twitch stream. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them there. And uh, I'll try to answer them. So uh, let's see, what else I do this weekend? Well, with my family at home, I watched Power Rangers, <laughs> which I fully expected to be bad. And it wasn't. It was okay. It was fine. It was a really great movie for kids, too. My kids really enjoyed that one. Um, and I, it's good. You know, it's a lot of these remakes from our childhood or whatever, and they do them. They jazz it up. They add a lot of innuendo and nonsense to them, like trans see Transformers. Uh, this one was just very pleasant and good. And then uh, we went to the movie theater and saw Ready Player One, which was amazing. And I'm going to go on record, be controversial, and say it's better than the book, I thought. Okay, so what's the weather like in Florida? Warm and sunny, like it almost always is. That's the only question I got. Um, are you raising a barn later today? Oh, that's going to be the whole thing, huh? I like this hat. <laughs> this hat keeps the sun out of your eyes. You can mock it all you want, but it's a useful hat. Is this my broadest brim hat? It is indeed. The, problem, the biggest problem with this hat is it's hard to pack and take anywhere. That's why you never see it at conventions. Ready Player One or Black Panther? Well, I, I like them both. I mean, I don't know that I would compare them to, you know, you'll, you, I guess you'll find out at the end of the year when I do my best of the year. I, I have to see how they do on repeat viewings. You know what else I did this weekend? Because uh, in one of the reviews I did last week, Rockets, Ships, and Ray Guns, I mentioned that one of the aliens looked like the bad guy from Commander Keen, and someone said, oh, a Commander Keen reference, and I thought, I wonder if you can play Commander Keen on the internet, and it turns out, you can. That game's pretty hard, actually. Um, I found it, the old DOS game, Commander Keen, back when I played a lot of shareware games. Uh, let's see. After seeing the apps are getting more integrated into board games, do you think the next step will be VR? I think we'll see VR hit board games, but I don't think we'll see it like be everywhere. Just like we're not seeing apps be everywhere. What's my favorite hair color? Uh, what's my wife's hair color? Brunette. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Brunette with a shade of gray. Um, yeah, you guys have snow up north. <laughs> do you ever do a top 10 with no or little downtime? Hmm, I don't know if we've ever done one like that. We probably should. Is there a great designer you think won't ever win the Spiel des Jahres due to preferred theme or mechanisms? I could probably list you 20 designers which will probably never win the Spiel des Jahres just because they don't make that style of game. Like, for example, D. Pratt Dal Talton, you know, from Level 99. His games aren't going to be Spiel des Jahres. I doubt Eric Lang will ever win the Spiel des Jahres. Kevin Wilson. These guys just make great thematic games, but that's not what the Spiel des Jahres is looking for. But then again, maybe they will. So never say never. Um, have you played role player Monsters and Minions yet? No, it's on its way to me, said the designer, so I haven't got it yet. Yeah. Have you ever considered a Fez? No, and you know why I haven't considered a Fez? Because I like brims on my hats. That's really the, the truth of it. I like having a brim. I live in Florida with the sun, and a Fez has no brim. Are you surprised at how successful the Fireball Island Kickstarter campaign has turned out so far? I don't know that I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to see how well it's going. I figured it would do well. I figured it would hit a million. I know, I mean, it has a lot of good things going for it. It has nostalgia. It has Rob Davio, great developer for sure. Um, it has Restoration Games, who all three of their games last year were very good, solid games. And it has a year or two of hype. Well, a year of hype, for sure. So all that combined, and the game looks amazing. And they're, doing, they're marketing it, pushing it everywhere. Um, 
What's the longest length you've ever grown your hair? Uh, I think it went over my ears by a centimeter. I've never grown it longer than that. I can't stand it. Uh, let's see here. Do you wear baseball caps? Yeah, I wear baseball caps a lot. Actually, when I go out, I often wear a baseball cap. If I'm going to work at all, usually a baseball cap is the best thing to work. Um... Stationary preference, paper clips or brads? Paper clips. I have a whole container full of little small colored paper clips. What's your favorite Magic the Gathering sealed deck product? Commander decks. You are lucky you can pull off any hat. Not me. I wish I could wear a hat like that. I wish hats, not ball caps, were the norm again. Well, first of all, I don't know that I'm pulling off this hat. Secondly, who cares? People always say, well, well, that would look really weird on me. Well, it looks weird on me. I just don't care anymore. And that's the point you got to get past. I, I, I wear a hat, and people are like, that's a funny hat. Okay. I mean, and I find it very amusing, the people who really criticize hats on the Internet. Like, when they would like put you down, they're like, there's that guy who wears the stupid fedoras. Oh, um, okay. That, that, that's your put down? I have fun wearing the hats, and it's also a useful thing to wear. Helps in the rain. Helps with the sun, they're comfortable, and people will find it easy. My kids find it easy to find me in the crowd. What's my favorite Magic the Gathering card mechanism? Uh, oh, that's a good question. What's my favorite one? Man, uh, there's probably ones that I like a lot that I'm forgetting that I could pull out. Um, I like the ones, I, I like the one, it's in a lot of games actually, where you can tap something to put a counter on it or tap it to pull the counters off. I've always found stuff like that fun. My favorite one is probably the new one where you can put the two cards together. I love that one from the new crazy set. Um, the last top 10 was amazingly entertaining. Whatever it was that made you three on point must be recreated all the time. Ah, you can't. Just it is what it is, right? And sometimes they're more entertaining than not. And so, uh, then, of course, the more entertaining they are, the more people might complain and say, that list was not very useful because you were being silly the whole time. What can we do? Which question feed is Tom watching, YouTube or Twitch? I'm watching both. Yeah, uh, not pulling off the hat without the Amish accent. Again, I just don't care. I like this hat, so I'm wearing it. Uh, let's see here. Loveliest game component, Century Golem, Sagrada, or Azul? Probably Azul. What's your least favorite cuisine type? A burger joint, maybe? I don't know. I like all foods. There's very little food I don't like. Like if someone said, we're going to eat Mexican, Chinese, Italian, Indian, Thai. I like them all. I'd probably have to sit down for a long time and rank them, and then I'd give you my least favorite one, but I like them all. Um, any Kickstarter games you'd recommend backing? Well, my Kickstarter show will come out this Wednesday, so hopefully you'll watch that. Did you ever play the old kids game Key to the Kingdom? I did. Not a very good game. Have you ever seen any board game themed tattoos? Yeah, I've seen some Dice Tower ones and I've also seen other ones that people have done based on companies and things. Do you like suspenseful movies? Go see A Quiet Place, awesome movie. Oh no, I do not really like suspenseful movies. The trailer for A Quiet Place scared the snot out of me. Um, do you think legacy games have hit their peak? I do not think that um, because there's like less than 10 of them. If you played marbles as a kid, what were the rules you used? What we would do is we would take the Hot Wheel tracks I have and paper towel holders and we would uh, do races with marbles all the way down the steps. I know you thought like the marbles in a circle, but I think I played that once. We used marbles mostly for rolling down things as fast as we could and occasionally throwing at each other. Um, what classic game would you like to see restoration games make it to a legacy game? I don't think I want them to make anything into a legacy game. I, I, don't look, I don't look for legacy games. If they happen, I'll think about it and go, that sounds interesting. Like, Werewolf Legacy, I'm like, I don't know. I'll try it, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, when I heard about um, 
Betra uh, Betra Betrayal House on the Hill Legacy. I thought that sounded great. Favorite thing to put on bread? Meat. How's that even a question? Most singable Disney songs. Ah, oh, there's so many. I like the Disney songs. Um, like, what are my top ten? I mean, if you took a single movie from my favorite Disney songs, it's going to be um, Beauty and the Beast, for sure. But um, why should I worry if my over and company, the song that has no words from Tarzan? Um, uh, let's see, what other Disney songs? Be Prepared from The Lion King. Well, actually, The Lion King, pretty much straight across the board, The Lion King has just amazing songs. Um... Yeah, there's a there's a lot of songs I like from a lot of these that I enjoy. The Prince John, uh, Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Little John running in the forest. Uh, this is a lot of songs. Does your wife cut everyone's hair in the house? She cuts a lot of their hair, but sometimes they go to the hairstylist. The little ones don't care, um, but the uh, older ones are starting to care more, I guess. How many cruise tickets are left? I don't know. Very few. Last I talked to Jason, there was like 20 or something. Saw so you wear your baseball hat backwards on Dice Tower tonight. Do you do that often? No, I, I don't. Uh, the only reason I was wearing it backwards was because of the, uh, the, the lighting. And then after a while, I couldn't stand it anymore. I don't really like wearing baseball caps backwards. If I do it, I just do it to be silly. Cheese is the best thing to put on bread? Oh, that's a good thing. Maybe cheese, but I think meat's better. Let's see here. How much time do you think you would have to set aside to play your top 10 games one after another? Oh, I don't know. I would have to sit and think what my top 10 games were. I don't always know them off the top of my head. Cosmic takes 90 minutes to two hours. Gloomhaven takes couple hours. Kemet takes a couple hours. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, it'd take a full day for sure. 20 hours. Maybe a 24-hour marathon, right? Um, given your experience, <coughs> are you approached a lot by game designers to consult on their early designs? Yes, I am. If so, do you enjoy this? No, I don't. And I say no, almost always. Because I just don't have time. And it, it feels jerky, and I don't mean to be jerky, but again, I point out that right here on the side, over here, there is 150 games that I haven't even opened yet. And over there is 150 games I haven't played. We have all that to do. I don't have time to be opening these, I mean, to be looking at prototypes. We just don't. If I, and if we open that door, that's all we'll ever do. Sticky notes or ticky tack sticky notes. I don't really like ticky tack. Have you ever recorded a top 10 that fell flat and you just deleted it? No. I deleted one one time that was very good, and that was by accident. That was our top. I, I deleted it in 2016. It was our top 10 games from 10 years ago in 2006. I remember that, doing that list. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think we redid it, and once we did a top 10 list twice, because I don't know how we missed that. Do you use umbrellas for rain, sun, both, or neither? I use umbrellas for rain occasionally if it's really bad rain, but I usually just run. What do you think about soundtracks for games? And are there enough of them to do a top 10 list? I personally like to put something on low volume to boost the theme. Oh, I like soundtracks for games. Um, there's a lot of websites that do, you know, Sirenscape and other places that do sound effects and things that work well for backgrounds of games too. The problem with soundtracks for games, and I love them, I have dozens and hundreds of soundtracks that I like. There's so many good ones out there. You can't always tie it to the thing, right? So I'll be like, and now we're about to fight each other. And then I'm playing Braveheart, and it's the part where he, his, his wife dies or something. It's very sad music, you know? And um, so then it was a battle scene, you know? And then, and then we have a, some, then we're like a sitting there, and all of a sudden it starts up, and there's the big battle scene. It's, so it's hard to make the music match it all the time. Do you find it more difficult to review games by companies you have good relationships with, a la Stronghold? Well, actually, um, 
if you'll notice that I, I usually have an easier time doing no's because I have such a good relationship with them that I can call the games bad if I think they're bad. You'll notice with Stronghold, I've called several of their games bad over the past few years because I just didn't like them. And, but I, I like more of their games than I don't. I guess if I was, if I was friends with someone and I like, disliked most of their games, that might be a strain eventually. But since I believe most published games are better than not, it's not that big of a deal. What's your view on games being used to convey things other than fun, such as This World of Mine? What if there's a game to highlight the effects of poverty? I think that's fine. I think that's a useful educational type thing. Um, but I don't know that I want to play them all the time myself. I can look, sit there and say, there you go. That's a good game that, that, that teaches this sort of thing. But pff, this, this War of Mine was super depressing. When wa ranking two games, have you ever waffled back and forth? All the time. My six-year-old asked, do you like Mario? I really like Mario, but Luigi's better. Um, any meal plans for Simon? No. We went to some little diner that was around the corner last time, and I was pretty happy with that. Have you been back to Asia since leaving Korea? I popped into Korea a few years after I left Korea. Um, but other than that, I don't believe... I've been back to Asia since. I would like to, for sure. Being Amish, <laughs> what are your thoughts on board games that require an app or an electronic device? Do they have buttons? I can't use them. Um, I would like to buy Rising Sun, but is it hard to learn? It felt like the rules were all over the place. I don't think the rules were all over the place. They're not. It's not that difficult of a game to to understand how to play it, how to play it well, probably. Did you ever say "milady" when you were younger? Not in any kind of serious form. I don't think so. I said "ma'am." Um. So 2017 and 2016 felt like a solid, I have to say this, I, I'm sorry, Ryan, I'm, I apologize, but I have to say this every time this question, as this question gets asked every year. But so far this year, I haven't found one that gets me excited like Gaia Project. Are there games that you're looking forward to this year? Yes, and every year this happens. Every year from January to like July, people are like, this year just doesn't seem that exciting. That's because most of the exciting games that come out over the course of a year are released from July to November. It happens every year. And you mentioned Gaia Project, for example. That came out like at, at Essen, and even at Essen, there was, it was hard to find an English copy. It didn't really fully come out till, till December. So we don't even know all the big games that are coming out this year. There are so many. Now, I think there's been some fantastic games that have already been released this year. A lot of them. I could make a top 10 list already. I won't, but I could. But, I mean, we haven't seen any of the Gen Con games or any of the Essen games. What happened to Eminent Domain in your estimation? When it came out, you seemed to like it more than Race. Now you don't mention it. Well, I haven't played it in, in years, but I, it's a good game. It was fine. I never played any of the expansions for it. I don't ever remember thinking it was better than Race. I don't think I ever thought that. I think Race for the Galaxy is a great game. Um... With the Harry Potter miniature games by Night Models dropping from Kickstarter, do you see this affecting the success of the game at launch? I don't know. I don't know how that. I don't know if Kickstarter affects that or not. How do you feel about Dice Masters moving to an LCG format? I'm fine with that. I'm always fine with things leaving the collectible format. I like not having to see what random things come out. But at the same time, it's not that big of a deal for me either. Happy Monday. Will you be at Origins again this year? I will be. Beside from the food, anything you're looking forward to? Just meeting all the people there. I have a lot of fun at Origins. What is your standard order at Chick-fil-A? I hardly ever go to Chick-fil-A, mostly because there's no Chick-fil-A's around here. Um, that, I mean, that, I think the closest Chick-fil-A is like 30 miles from me. So I just don't, I've stopped at them a few times when I'm traveling, but I just don't go to them very often. Why do you think Pandemic Season 1 was a huge hit, but Season 2 fell off the face of the earth? Well, first of all, again, Season 2 has only been out a few months, so I can't think it fell off the face of the earth. 
And I think it's the same reason it, it didn't do like spe spectacular because it's the second one. People assume you have to play the first one. First one's a big deal. We'll see where the second one ends up after a year or so. It will not sell as well as the first one for sure. But I think it's a very good game. In a past list, you said you'd like to brass, but would not play again. Will that change when a new version comes out? We'll see. The new version certainly is pretty, isn't it? Um, I'm trying to find a pure drafting game that's more involved than Fairy Tale, but easier to explain to new players than Seven Wonders. You think Paper Tales will be a good fit for this? Sure. Um, it's more involved than Fairy Tale, but I mean, it's about the same level as Seven Wonders. Um, any idea when your next 30 hour marathon will be yet? Yes, and if you could spread the word to everyone, it's going to be at the very end of the year, not at the beginning at all. I think I answer that question every Q&A at this point. <laughs> I should probably put that somewhere like, the marathon will be at the end of the year. We try to spread things out over the course of the year. Like we don't wanna to have too much of any one thing at any given point. If you give one piece of advice to a new YouTuber just starting out, what would it be? It'd be have fun. And don't worry about the comments, just have fun. Be yourself, do a good job. And if you don't like it, stop doing it. Do something else. Are you less or more excited after watching the solo trailer? I would say I think more highly of this trailer than the last one. I don't know why I'm not more excited about this movie. I think it's because Infinity War has sucked all my excitement for all movies over the course of the year into that one movie. Um, rank these three non-key lime pies. Chocolate, banana cream, and buttermilk. Chocolate. Buttermilk and then banana cream. Um... Have you ever tried a grilled cheese with peanut butter inside? Years ago, my sister had one from Red Lobster and they did it that way. We've done it ever since. Give it a shot. Nah, I think I'm okay. It might be good, but no. Nah, I really like my grilled cheese sandwiches. I will, uh, grilled cheese with an onion, tomato, and lettuce. You gotta grill the cheese first and quick open it before the cheese melts and put the other stuff on it. Put the onion right on top. Mm -hmm. If you quit doing the Dice Tower, completely quit reviewing, how often do you think you'd get new board games? I don't know. It depends on my friends, right? I think that's what it would depend on. If my friends were constantly buying and playing new board games, I wouldn't need to worry about buying them. I'd go play theirs. At Dice Tower Con, are there people playing games the day before the con in the hotel? Not only are there people playing games the day before the con, but there are people playing games the day before the day before the con, and the day before the day before the day before the con, because people show up and they, some people show up in a the, in the hotel, there are games being played two days before the con. Now, the day before the con, part of the convention hall is opened up, and we actually go in there and just play games. Um, so there's plenty of gaming. Let's see, any helpful hints to prevent AP? Let's go, let's go, let's go, it's your turn, it's your turn, it's your turn, it's your turn. That can kind of get the other person irritated at you. Huh, I'm not getting many questions on Twitch. Most of the questions are coming from YouTube. Piggyback rides or kids up on your shoulders? Oh, I do both, but I like the shoulder one better because uh, it's just easier, it's just easier balance-wise. It doesn't hurt my back as much. However, because of how tall I am, it's much more dangerous in my house. Um, what did your wife go to school for? To learn. I know what you mean. You mean, uh, what was her major in college? It would be elementary education. Where can I get some cheap buy? Online really is the cheapest place to get it. Do you have some favorite mobile games, you know, in your spare time? Uh, yeah, right now I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies a lot on my, uh, on my iPad. I play that a lot. Um, but it, it all depends. I kind of waffle around. I'll play, like, sometimes I'll play the Final Fantasy games on my iPad, and I'll just play them for, like, a really long period of time. And then 
Uh, right now, though, the ones that I played the most in the past couple of weeks have been uh, the Plants vs. Zombies and um, Zen Pinball. I love Zen Pinball. There's so many good boards. They just added, well, it's been a while since I played it, so the newest boards, I think, are the Jurassic Park boards, which were really fun. But because there's so many different pinball boards on it, I can go back and play them all. And I'll play one for a while, and then if I get a little bored of it, I just switch to another one, and there's so many that by the time I cycle through them all, I can go back to the beginning and play some of them. And I like a lot. I mean, there's, there's very few of the boards I dislike. They're all very fun to play. How good are you at keeping a straight face while people try to get you to laugh? Well, it all depends. I mean, I, I, some, sometimes I can keep a straight face, but I do laugh a lot. Um, have you tried the Quantic Foundry board game profile tool? I don't know what that means. All right, let's try that. So Quantic Foundry board game profile. Board games motivation. Fill out the brief survey. This will generate a customized report for you. Well, this should, this should be interesting, right? Because um, everyone knows what I like and don't like here. Okay. Am I new? Take the survey. What's my gender? Male. All right, that was easy. What's my age? 41. Hope it doesn't ask my income next. In the past six months, how often did you play board games? Once in a blue moon. All right, we'll click multiple times a week. Who do I play regularly with? Friends, family, and strangers. All right, so I checked all those. How many board games do you own? Count expansions as half a board game. Oh. I was going to say 350, but if you're counting expansions as half a board game, holy smokes, I'll just round it up to 450 because I own a lot of expansions. What's my preference in terms of numbers? No preference. What's your preference in typical duration of a game? I'll say one to two hours. Have you ever contributed to a board game on Kickstarter Indiegogo? Yes. What are some of your favorite board games? All right, so I'll put in Gloomhaven. Let's see if that shows up. Okay, Gloomhaven. Game two, Cosmic Encounter. All right, and then game three, Heroescape. Uh, Rise of the Valkyrie, there we go. All right, so that pulled, that pulled that stuff from Board Game Geek. What are some board games that you've enjoyed playing recently? All right, I'll say Thunderstone Quest. And recently, I've enjoyed Shards of an... Uh, oh, Shards of Infinity is not on here? Oh, it's Infinity. Okay, okay, okay. I'll say, uh, let's pick another game. Let's just pick some weird games. Okay, I... Quazu. I'm looking at games I'm reviewing this week. And game three, I'll put... I'll put a, a funny one. Attack of the Jelly Monster. It's not in their catalog? What kind of nonsense is that? Um, okay, let me see. Um, what did I just play this past weekend? Um, Thanos Rising. Oh, is that in their catalog either? All right, 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 all right. Man, let's look over at my shelf there. Oh, Steamrollers. Let's see if that's in their catalog. There we go, Steamrollers. Oh, missing a title. Okay. For the next section, how important are these? The game board and components are beautifully illustrated. Extremely important. Spending time with others doing something we enjoy together. Extremely important. Trying out new games to stay up to date. Extremely important. Because I'm a reviewer. This game has amazing artwork. Extremely important. This isn't really helping. This game has a great deal of strategic depth and complexity. Ah, it's somewhat important. I don't care about that. The game has a strong, rich theme. Extremely important. This game's approachable and easy to learn. Extremely important. Being known as this highly skilled player, pfft, I don't care about that. Dominating other players, pfft. This game's accessible to people with very little board game experience. Yeah, that's important. The game immerses you in another world place. Yes. Yes, a highly detailed world and setting. This game's theme setting is strongly reflected in the art and design of its components. Sure. Simply having a good time in the company of others. Yes. Taking on a believable role in a coherent thematic setting. They're just asking the same questions over and over again. Allows me to formulate an executed long-term strategy. Sure. Winning. Not at all important. Pfft. 
Game World's elaborate history lore categories. Nah, I don't care that much about that. It's easy to teach someone out. You are asking the same questions now over and over again. Being part of a like-minded community of gamers. What does that mean? I'm skipping that one. How much do you dislike? Okay. Or Gameplay that involves negotiating or bargaining with other players. Love it. Gameplay where players can backstab or betray each other. Love it. Games where all the player interactions are non-confrontational. Love it. They're not going to like me very much. Co-op games where players have to help each other. Love it. <laughs> Game mechanics that allow hostile, confrontational player interactions. Love it. Games that are cognitively challenging to play. Love it. Game where we have to persuade or convince other players of something. Love it. Oh, I need that. I want that one higher than love. Chance mechanisms to determine the options you have. Like it. That was my first not love. Chance mechanisms that determine the outcome of actions. Rolling dice. Love it. Playing mind games with other players. Love it. Bluffing or deception. Love it. High conflict mechanisms that allow players attack and interfere with each other's resources and units. Uh, I don't know what to say on that one because I, I, I like it in some games and don't like it in others. I'll just put like for this one. Games that require a lot of thinking and planning. Love it. Competing against other players. Love it. Games are primarily about light-hearted fun and laughter. Love it. Gameplay that depends on a lot of luck or chance. Neutral. <laughs> Loud, boisterous, party-style games. Love it. The chatting and social interaction around playing games. Love it. How often do I do the following things? Take the time to learn about a game designer or publisher. Always. Take the time to learn about new game systems and mechanisms. Always. Working together with other players as a team. I enjoy that a great deal. Games where players have to cooperate to achieve a common goal. I enjoy that a great deal. Games that elicit a lot of silly fun interactions between players. I enjoy that a great deal. How much do I like steampunk? I'm neutral. Historical medieval re re renaissance. Neutral. I don't dislike it. I just think it's overused. Pirates. Love pirates. High fantasy. I like high fantasy. <laughs> Modern cities infrastructure. Love it. Zombie apocalypse. Dislike. World War I, World War II. Neutral. Agriculture farming. Neutral. Futuristic sci-fi. Love it. Horror. Neutral. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Optional. My board game geek username. No. Want to help companies make new games? No. Give me my profile. Oh, I almost got a perfect diamond. <laughs> almost. <laughs> All right. Social fun, 96%. Conflict, 81%. Strategy, 65%. Immersion, 95%. Blah, 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 blah. Well, give me some games. Cosmic Encounter, Gloom. Oh, wait. You already showed it to me. Where's the games that you're recommending for me? Oh, they just show you popular games in each of those. All right. Well, there you go. That was entertaining for me. Probably so not much for you. Money orders or cashier's checks. I'd prefer to use neither of those if possible. Thoughts on medically themed games. I like them a lot, actually. Um... You haven't loved any of them. Yeah, there's not a lot of great ones out there. I think the the one from um, Renegade, though, is good. The one where you're all trying to heal people as they come in as fast as you can. All right. What's your favorite scent for a hand soap? Oh, that's a good one. Mint, I think, right now. Shampoo? Uh, fruit. Whatever. It's a different kinds of fruit. Me and my wife are playing Istanbul. What should the winner get? Grilled cheese sandwich. What do your video editor and your social media guy most often get after you about? Uh, all kinds of things. Um, did you turn the lights on in the studio when you started recording? You know, uh, is your microphone on straight? I don't know, stuff like that. Um, what's your opinion on Kickstarter's being six months late? Do you think the creator should be blamed or given the excuse of it's Kickstarter? Well, I think a lot of people don't realize one, how much work it is for logistics to be in a Kickstarter. And there's, I think the people running the Kickstarter don't realize that. And I think the people who are getting the Kickstarter don't realize that. So it's often a mixed fault. If they're working hard at it and it's delays, I always cut them slack. I mean, it is what it is. 
Tom, I like the Chimera Station me mechanism of modding your workers, but the aesthetic wasn't for me. Are there other games that you can modify workers? <sighs> well, Santa's Workshop, you can technically modify your workers some. And, I mean, games like Manhattan Project, you can upgrade your workers. Do you think anime themes are underrepresented in the hobby? I don't think so. I mean, USA Apoi does a few games for them, and, and Japan anime, that's like their whole bread and butter. Are you still playing Android Netrunner? No, we finished that game a long time ago. I'm not playing any game right now. I'm just doing a Q&A. Do you have an opinion on the mouse graphic novels? Whew. They're tough to read, right? That's a pretty tough thing. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's an... I read them and then I was like, okay, that was a, that was a thing. I, I don't know that I liked them, but I didn't dislike them. It's kind of like, kind of like watching Schindler's List, right? It's a good movie. And then at the end, you're just like, hmm, I don't know if I'll watch that again or not. It was a good movie, but... Um, it's that same thing. It's the same setting, too. Do you think Crystal Wars will surpass Summoner Wars for you the more you play and if there are expansions? No. No, I don't think so at all. I mean, I think Crystal Clans is fine, and I think expansions, I like it a lot. There's no way it will pass Summoner Wars for me. I knew I loved Summoner Wars the first time I played it. I knew it, you know. Um, I don't know that I've ever had a game that was in my favorite. Summoner Wars is easily one of my favorite games. I don't know that I've ever had a game in my favorite games where the first time I played it, I wasn't like, I love this game. I don't. And uh, when I played Crystal Clans, I was like, this is pretty good. I like it. But I didn't go, I love this game. No, it was just a very good game. And so I don't think more expensive stuff would change my mind on that at all. I think it's a good game. But I don't think they really should even be compared. I mean, except they're both from Plat Hat. They both have decks with three heroes and, you know, common characters. But... Other than that, they're really different games. What are your future plans for decorating your studio? Well, I'm constantly on the lookout for things to put on the shelf back here. Send me something cool. You might see it on the shelf back there eventually. And I'll probably get some more of the graffiti done on this wall at some point. Tom, we're both tall guys. I'm six foot, five and a half inches. Do you ever get tired of hitting your head? Well, you probably hit it more than me. Six four seems to work fine. I don't hit my head that much. Do you ever think you'd trade hitting your head for being so short you have to use a step ladder every shelf? No! Being tall is amazing, except on an airplane. What theme IP needs or would work well as an LCG CCG style card game? G.I. Joe. Tom, my belly aches. What to do? Call the, uh, um, put the lime in the coconut and drink it up. Um, is there a list already started about what games will be released tentatively at Gen Con? Possibly, but I have so many cons that are like, there's a lot of cons that are coming up in the near future for me. So next week is Gathering of Friends. There's not a lot of games that are coming out there. Just I might see some new games, but and I might know more about Gen Con games when that's over. Then in May, I'm going to four things back to back. Simon Con, my daughter's graduation. Um, that's not a con, but I'm going to that. Um, the uh, Geekway to the West, Homeschool Convention in Orlando, and then UK Games Expo. And then Origins right after that. There's a lot. It's going to be fun. It's going to be busy. Fantasy Flight loves to kill games and systems. They killed Assault for Legion. Thanks for review of Legion. I see that clearly. Well, I, 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 do, do, you, do you think that the people at Fantasy Flight are like, let's destroy our own game? No, I think they want to make money, and I think that they saw Star Wars Imperial Assault was fading out, so they made Star Wars Legion. And I don't know that Star Wars Imperial Assault is even done. I think that they'll probably make more stuff for that. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. But... It's not like they came and took Star Wars Imperial Assault out of your house. It seems like it works pretty well. They released a ton of characters for it. There's a lot of stuff out for it. Meringue or whipped cream? I like meringue better. Hmm. 
Do you, buy, do you buy Blu-rays? Not only do I not buy them, I don't think I'll ever buy another physical media thing again. Uh, I shouldn't say that, though. Every once in a while, I come across a, a musician in person or somewhere, and maybe I'll buy maybe a CD because I feel bad, and then I don't know what to do with it because we can only play it in our cars, and I use Bluetooth for all my stuff in my cars, and I use Spotify. So I'm like, do you have Spotify? I'll listen to it a lot. Hopefully you get a few cents out of that. But uh, for movies now, I just order things off Amazon Prime or see if it's already available in one of the services I have. On a cold day, would you rather have hot chocolate or coffee? Well, I don't like coffee, so that's pretty easy. Hot chocolate with either two dashes of caramel in it or some raspberry in it. I don't like... Oh, I'm, oh and I, if, if possible, I prefer white hot chocolate, but... Oh, I'm like almost 20 minutes behind in questions. All right, I better hurry up here. That's because I did that, that survey thing. Is there any way Infinity War can live up to expectations hype? I don't know. Sure, there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of expectations. But at the same time, Marvel has exceeded my expectations every single time. If you have any superpower, what would it be? Um, telepathy. The questions are coming from YouTube because Twitch is lagging very badly. I'm sorry about that. Um, if you could live in another state besides Florida, what would it be? What states are next to Florida? Alabama's beside Florida, Georgia. Those are the only two states, right? Of those two, I guess Georgia? I don't know. Um, I am here at live Q&As all the time, almost every week. Do you recognize people's names or pictures? Have you learned to love me? Um, I do recognize people's names sometimes, people who answer, ask a lot of questions. And I can always tell. There's some people who are always trying to ask a question. They're like, maybe this will be the week he answers a political question. No. Um, and there's also, you know, um, people, there's always people like asking me silly questions. I don't know. I, I get to know some of the people, but no, not all of them because I'm really bad with memory. Would you rather have a mohawk or a mullet? I'd rather have a mullet, I guess. I don't like mohawks at all. Um, have you ever met someone of similar age or younger than you who has played more unique titles of board games than you have? No. And in fact, definitely not someone who's my age or younger. I'm not sure I've met someone who is older than me who's played more board games than me at this point. Now, I don't mean to be that, that. That sounds very braggadocious, and there probably is people. And I don't mean that. I'm not like, I've played more board games than anyone in the world. I'm not saying that. I'm sure that's not true at all. Um, but because I'm playing five to 600 new games every year at this point, um, a lot of the people who've had breadth of 20 years on me or 30 years on me, there was only like 10 or 12 new games coming out a year at that point. So one of my years is almost passing like a whole decade of their experience, maybe. And I could be wrong, and there could be... Uh, I'll say there's probably 100 people in the world who have played more games than me for sure. But I just don't know how many of those people I've met. Engelstein's played a lot of games. But... And maybe people who do it for like a, a living, like they're always playing people's prototypes and stuff, maybe they played more games than me. Who knows? Ever done a top 10 game that worked with all ages? I have not, but that's, a, that's one that's interesting to try. This person says, Twitch stream isn't lagging for me at all. Well, that's great. Have your thoughts changed about Gloomhaven? No. Toilet paper over or under? Over. Uh, let's see here. Do you think proxying games is considered as piracy? I, I don't know what that means. Like, um, I, I don't have a problem with someone if they want to try like a super rare magic card and we're playing magic. I don't think that's bad. Or if you can't find the game anywhere and you want to build your own copy. But if the game is available in a store and you don't buy a copy of that but you make your own, let's use uh, um, an abstract strategy game, right? Let's say, yeah, uh, well, the interest uh, Onitama, right? So Onitama is available in a store, but you make your own copy of it without ever buying your own copy of Onitama. Is that piracy? It's not piracy, but it feels super cheesy, right? You're like, well, I'm trying to save money. Yeah, I guess, but it, it feels like you're not giving that designer any credit for, you know, that, that designer would have got some money if you had bought that game. Um, 
Do you find it, does YouTube let you keep track of how many different currencies you've received as donations? I don't know. I can keep track of my head. I've gotten like five different ones so far. Um, do you find it odd Scythe is popular given you can recommend better games easily? No, no. I, 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 uh, I think Scythe is popular because it's, it's really a good game. Who's my favorite Magic the Gathering commander? I don't know that I have one off the top of my head. Have you ever invested heavily in a game over a period of time only to realize you really don't like the game all that much? Not really. I think this is something I did more when I first got into gaming. I'd be like, oh, there's a new game? I'm going to buy it. <coughs> and then I'm going to buy like all the expansions for it. Well, that might work if I love the game, but if I don't, that could be problematic. Who do you think will die in Avengers Infinity War? I think Iron Man is dead. I'm calling that now. Iron Man is dead. Maybe Captain America, but Iron Man for sure, I think. But I might be wrong. I don't know. They're not giving us any clues. If no one dies, I'll be sad. Not, not that I want to see people die, but the stakes need to be there. This needs to be a big deal. And Iron Man makes the most sense. He's a lot of money. They got other people that can come in and take his spot and different things. We'll see. I thought you didn't like diplomacy. I don't. Just because I like diplomacy with a small d doesn't mean I like diplomacy with a big d. What's your opinion of the Three Stooges, Marx Brothers, and Abbott and Costello? How about Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis? Well, I like all of them. Um, but you didn't mention my favorite of this whole group, and that would be Lauren Hardy, or my favorite easily. Um, the... The rest I like. I like them all. Um, I like people who are funny and work together. That old slapstick humor still makes me laugh. Has Jason played more games than me? No, I don't think so. I think I've played more than Jason at this point. But Jason is pretty close. Also, he's older than me. Did you like Thanos Uprising? I did. Do you like malt vinegar and salt in your fries? Yes. That is the absolute best thing in the world to put in fries. I love it. Well, maybe it's Thai with a good, you know, uh, poutine. I think I'm coming around on that one. I really like that too. But malt vinegar, if I, I mean, I will even put white vinegar on my fries if I can't find malt vinegar. I just like vinegar on fries. And I, I'm always amused by people who are like, that sounds so disgusting because it's a very localized thing in Philadelphia, New Jersey. Everyone does it. But at the same time, the whole nation, it seems, eats salt and vinegar chips, which is very similar. But anyway. Does your wife play many games with you? Not really. We play a, we play a lot, but I mean, not, I wouldn't say tons. My husband and I really enjoy playing games together. I was just curious if game playing becoming your career has negatively affected gaming with your wife. I don't know that it's negatively affected. I've played fewer games with my wife since gaming has become my career, but she has not complained about that. We just do other things. Uh, let's see. I'm skipping lots and lots of questions, folks. I know this for sure, and I apologize. Incidentally, the Quantic Foundry survey does generate game recommendations. There should be a button. Oh, yeah, there it is. Here we go. What do you think they're going to say? Do, 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 do. Spy Falls, the number one. Well, I like Spy Fall, so they're doing well. Deception Murder in Hong Kong, good. Star Wars Imperial Assault, good. Fury of Dracula, third edition, good. My Mystics, Arkham Horror, the card game. Uh, I thought that one was okay. Kingdom Death Monster, I haven't played it. Oh no, the survey's telling me I should. Android Netrunner, Eldritch Horror, Time Stories. Those were the first ones. Let's see. Mansion of Madness, X Wing, Sheriff of Nottingham, Zombie Side Black Plague. But I said I didn't like zombies. King of Tokyo, Elder Sign, The Resistance, Zombie Side. What? Forbidden Desert, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. These are like all the same style. Where's my Euro games? Dead of Winter, Blood Rage, Above and Below, Descent, Legendary, Mysterium, Takinoko, Sentinels of Multiverse, Smash Up, Coup, Secret Hitler, Mansion of the Man of Second Edition, Lords of Waterdeep, Blood Letters, Scythe, and Star Wars Rebellion. Oh, those are released late in, in the last 10 years. Let's just do the last two years. None. <laughs> what the? What? That makes no sense. All right. All years. Some of these games came out in the last two years. Oh, that's true. 
Maybe they didn't. Okay. Sorry. Getting caught up in these things. Any part of your job you don't like? I don't like uh, when I ha it's my turn to clean the bathroom, I get. Um, there's parts of every job that you're not going to like. I don't like, you know, for example, getting a game from someone that I like that person, I like their company, I think the game looks great, and then it's not. That doesn't make me enjoy a game. Have you read the Redwall series from, from, by Brian Jacques? I think you and your kids might enjoy them. Oh, yeah, I do, and I have. However, um, it, I really liked Redwall a lot, and I really liked the this, this direct sequel, Madame Mayo, and um, was Mossflower the first one, the, the original one? And then I started enjoying them less as time went by because Clooney the Rat was a really strong villain in the first one. You were like... Is he going to win? After that, the villains got less and less scary. And they started repeating themselves, like the story-wise and such. I just felt I would have enjoyed them more if they had brought in someone who was almost impossible to beat. And yet the good guys won anyway. I think I would have enjoyed that more. How does a noob get started in Summoner Wars? Is the master set enough for someone who hasn't played before? I would say yes. Have you ever played New Noi Heimat? No, I'm not. Are you getting any of the modular dice towers from the broken token? To be sure. Are you excited about the World War Hulk Marvel Legendary expansion? Sure, I love World War Hulk. Um, I would like to see a series of shows from game cafe, game stores that showcase their stores, locations around the world. Sure, and this is open. When I went to Gamma, I talked to many, many game store owners and many cafe owners and said, if you send me a video of your store, I will put it up on our channel. We have a series that we've done that with a few. I haven't got anything since then, but the, the offer is open to everyone. If you have a game store that you go to and you would love to show that off, ask them, get a video done, make sure it's okay by them, send it to us, and we'll post it and show it off. I want to show people the good game stores, good game cafes all around the world. Maybe I'll make a contest about that. Maybe I'll get people to actually do it. Like, um, make a good game, make a video of your game store, and, and you can win a prize. I'll have to think about that. That's an interesting idea. Other than Choose Your Own Adventure, have you read any other game books? Yeah, um, like Choose Your Own Adventure. There's a lot of them, but I don't remember what they're all called. Use the program called Handbrake to rip your DVD to an MP3. Well, I've used Handbrake in the past because I've been given DVDs and I needed to use the videos for church and I needed to put them in my videos I build for my church. I do my church's videos each week. Um, but, but no, I don't want to do that either because my, all my Mac computers at this point don't have a DVD player. I think one of them does. I, my DVD player at home, I think it, yeah, well, it definitely works because my kids use it for homeschool. But... Other than that, I vastly prefer just downloading files. When someone comes to me and goes, can you use this? Can you give me these files? I'm like, ah, oh, is there anywhere online I can download them? Do some beatboxing? I don't think I can. Um, are you coming to Chicago anytime soon? I don't believe I am. Jason hasn't played more games than me. No, I, I, and here's why I don't think so because I know he plays a game. He'll play it. Uh, he'll play games more than me, as in he'll play the game more times than I will. So he might. And there's like a, a diehard Euro gaming group that he plays with around me, um, and so they'll get together and they'll play the same games often, right? And that's fine. And he's also nowadays he's super busy at his job, uh, really working hard there. So. Top 10 Wolves and Sheep's Clothing. Games that had a different theme, but were essentially another game. That's a good idea. I might do that someday. They're all going to die? Yeah, maybe. Cap dies and Bucky takes up the shield? That's possible. I call a scroll reveal as a main character. Well, that would be interesting. That'd be really interesting if that was the case. I don't think they'll bring the scrolls in. My question is this, in the post credit scenes, will we see Wolverine? Probably not. Can y'all make a husband and wife top 10? 
Uh, well, I, I think I can. Um, I think my parents would be number one. Uh, well, my pastor and his wife really get along. Maybe I put them as number two. It's really hard to rate husbands and wives, though. Um, yeah, I, I feel a little, I feel a little weird doing this sort of thing. I, I don't know that I, I should do this. I'll, I'll say my parents for number one, um, and then after that, I think you can just, you, you just pick some. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of husbands and wives who are very loving couples, but I, I've never really thought about making a top ten list of that before. Any jugglers in a dice tower crew? I don't think so. Favorite dinosaur for me? My favorite dinosaur is probably the. Brontosaurus? I don't know. I just figured I'd like to ride one. Have you ever... Hang on one second. Have you ever embraced the delight of fish and chips in the UK? Yes, I have. And they're very, very good. Let's see. Do you miss Korea? I do. You got an Amazon gift list for Melody's graduation. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I forgot people give other people money for graduation. But that's not really that big of a deal, right? Because uh, it just never even occurred to me. Because she's homeschooled, I guess, you know. So, I, didn't, I mean, you know, when you're graduating, I guess your relatives give you money and things like that. As a, I, I just uh, I don't think strangers would give money to Melody. Um, um, maybe, I don't know, I could have her make one, but I don't think many people would really get on, on it, I think. Um, Apple or Android? Well, I don't really use Android, so I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Mac person that I use that stuff, but I don't know that I'm like, ah, it's Apple, you know, like, iOS is better than Android. I don't know that I just use iOS, so I'm pretty happy with it. Did the, are the questions not going over anymore? Huh. Captain Marvel's upcoming, so I think an intro to Skrull would fit well. Plus, that means the next Avenger could be Secret Invasion. Oh, well, Secret Invasion would be good, but I think the next... The next uh, Avengers is a sequel to this one. I think that this is Infinity War, but I don't think Thanos will be defeated at the end of it. I think that we will, they will fight him in another movie. But well, I don't know. We'll find out in a month. Brontosaurus was never a real dinosaur. It was fake, but someone putting bones together from a bunch of other dinosaurs. Fine. And something that looks like a brontosaurus. Is the base game for pitch car enough, or are the stunts expansions mandatory? Yeah, the base game's enough, but you really want the jump. So I would get the one, I think it's the second expansion that has the jump. That's what I would get. My favorite pasta? Uh, tortellini, for sure. What did you do with the extra space in your home, not Dice Tower as its own studio? Well, you'd be surprised at how much it was not that big of a space, but it's now a family room where people can just hang out. Jimmy uses it as his toy room kids hang in there and read and stuff and I use it as my office um, well it looks like I caught up on questions so and again I know I didn't answer everyone's questions and I apologize about that but that's how that works sometimes so I will not be a Grand Con this year um, Sam and Z will be though no not Sam and Z I'm sorry Eric Summer will be there so say hi to him there. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate you all watching as always. I hope that you have a fantastic day. I'm very excited about this week. We got lots of cool things coming. I got lots of reviews. Um, Best of Designer series. We can review. There's more live stuff coming for sure. We have seen uh, Sam and Z are going to continue their live series of uh, Z vs. Um, Arkham Horror, the card game, and Sam against you guys in memoir. If you've not been involved with one of those, you should get involved. They're lots of fun. So those will be coming later this week. And other than that, that's it. So until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks for watching The Dice Tower.
Well, that's enough of that.